duplicate in FSpot is something that a lot of FSpot admin are facing every day. And if you try to manage them, you might realize that FSpot is not helping us at all with that issue. So just to summarize, a duplicate is when you have two records for the same person or for the same company. It can happen for a lot of reasons. For instance, if a lead decides to fill two forms with two different email addresses, for instance, or if you created some companies with workflows without putting a unique identifier such as the domain name, you can end up with a lot of different lines in your database for the same person or same company. If you try to manipulate the data of your CRM with a lot of duplicates, you might realize that it brings a lot of chaos in your CRM. So the goal is to manage to deal with those different duplicates and a spot is not helping us at all with that issue. If you already tried before to deal with your duplicates, you might have been to actions and click on manage duplicates. Here's a good first step because you can find like all the duplicate issues you have in your CRM. I have 13 contact duplicates. So I have 26 contacts instead of 13 and three companies. The thing is, when you look at that, you have two issues. If you want to bulk merge all those different contacts, you would click here and you will be redirected to a landing page to buy the Operation Hub Professional, which is $500, I think, for managing your duplicates. You can still do it one by one by clicking on review and manually check and set the primary record that will host the data of the merging and click on merge. But the thing is, if you have a bigger portal with a lot of duplicates, it can take you ages to deal with this merging one by one. Then you don't have a full control on what information will flow from the old contact that will get merged to the new contact. And most of all, it implies that regularly you go to this Manage Duplicates page and do it manually. Today, I want to show you how you can deal with all those duplicates issues with a third party app that is, in my opinion, the perfect tool for all the different duplicate situations. And this app is named Qualify. So the good thing of Qualify is if you have less than 10,000 records on your CRM, it will be completely free and you can create all the different rules you want to manage your duplicates and you can even automate the deduplication of your spot portal within workflows. So let me show you how it works and how easy it is to set it up. So to install this app, you can either go to the integration connected app marketplace or you can find a install link in the description below. I managed to get a affiliate link for that tool. So feel free to use it. It will really help my channel. So once you download the app, you can just go to settings, integration, connected apps and choose qualify, merge and deduplicate. Everything that you need to set up is on that page. There really managed to make it super easy to understand and to deal with. You have basically three different categories you need to set up. First is the duplicate rules. It will allow you to define the rule that will help qualify identify specific duplicates. So they have per default rules such as email. So if two records have the same email, they are considered as duplicates. First name, last name and company name. First, last name and mobile phone first last name phone number, first last name IPCT, and first last name LinkedIn URL. Those are rules per default, but of course, if your spot portal is based on different properties, you can create rules that are really specific to your business. So let's say you have a business that uses Instagram IDs as a unique identifier. You could plug this rule saying like, I want to duplicate all the records that have the same Instagram ID or for instance you don't use a company name but you use a company URL instead you can just create a rule saying you name it company URL plus first name last name and you would say first name first name match first name and last name match last name and company URL matches company URL. You can test to see if there is like some duplicates with your rules and once you're happy about it you can just save it. Now, because you create a new rule, you can use this rule to identify and solve duplicate issues. And I will show you right after how to deal with it. Once you define all your duplicate rules, you just need to define your primary rules. So as I mentioned before, a spot don't let you that much option when it comes to choose which will be the record that will all the data of the merging. Qualify lets you create rules that help you make sure all the data is up to date. So to do so, you just click on edit primary rules and you will see that they created per default rules. So for instance, the first created 
is when you will merge two contacts, the final record will be the first creatine among the two records you will merge. Things to understand about it is like if a property is known for the two records, let's say the email, you have like email one at test.com and email two at test.com. The first contact created is email one at test.com. So when the two contacts will be merged, because we choose the first created rule, the contact will keep as a primary email address, email one at test.com. Now imagine you have a property that is only populated in the second record that will be merged. Let's say on the first created record, we don't know the list status, but we know it on the second one. When you will merge, the first created record will be the main one, but you will still get the information of the properties that were only populated on the second record. So if we go back to our example, email one at test.com doesn't have a list status. Email two at test.com has a list status equal to lost, for instance. When you will merge the two records, the email address will be email one at test.com. But because on this first record, you don't know the status, it will get the list status from the second record, which is list status equal lost. Once you understand that, you can choose the best rule for your business. And if you want to go even more precisely into those rules, you can, as we did before, create a new rule and just put filters that will say, I want the primary record to be this specific one. To activate the rule you want, you just need to click on it and click on activate. You just need to wait a few minutes and it's active. And the last thing we need to do is the formatting rules. So it's simply to be more precise about what we want to duplicate. They let you choose if you want to ignore the accent, the subdomain, the domain extensions, the common words, the special characters, the phone numbers, etc. You can do it for contacts and for company. Once you're happy about it, everything is set up and you're ready to rewrite all the duplicates of your spot portal. So to summarize, we have two different rules that will deal with our deduplication. First is duplicate rules, what is considered as a duplicate, and primary rules, once you have a duplicate, which record will be the host of all the data. So now that's understood, let's talk about how to use those rules to deduplicate your spot portal. The first one is to do it manually when you go on a specific record page. So for instance, we have this record and when you go all the way down on the right sidebar, you will see this new card created by Qualify which say contact duplicates one. They show you that there is potentially another contact that is a duplicate of this contact and you can simply click on actions and merge in current contacts. How it will be merged? It will be merged based on the primary rules you would have defined. So that's still a better option than the native managed duplicates of a spot. But what would be amazing is to be able to either bulk merge all your database or having a real time merging when a new duplicate is identified by Qualify. And to do so, you can just use the workflow tool. So you create a new workflow from scratch. You choose a contact based or a company based, depending on what you want to deduplicate and you click on next. For some clarity, you can rename it contact deduplication based on first name, last name, company URL, and you save. And the good thing about Qualify is you have either specific Qualify filtering criterias. So by clicking on contact properties and typing Qualify, you can find Qualify duplicate rules. And if you remember, the duplicate rules are the condition of identifying a specific duplicates. So you can choose on qualified duplicate rules is any off and because we want to deduplicate based on FNLN company URL, you will choose the one we created together and you click on save. So that way, every time Qualify will automatically identify a duplicate based on the first name, last name and company URL, it will enter in this workflow. You can turn the rearrangement on in case later on the same contact as another duplicate. And the only thing you need to do is simply to create an action. Go all the way down into integrated app and Qualify and click on merge duplicate contact. You don't need to add any primary ID to merge into unless you want to get more into details. You can find like the knowledge base of Qualify here that will explain to you what it is and how you can set it up. And once you're done, you can click on save. And that's it. Once you activate this workflow by clicking on publish, you will never facing any duplicates in a spot that have the, fir the same first name, last name and company URL. Of course, if you want to create a bigger workflow with more rules, you can just simply add the rules here and say, OK, I'm confident about all those different rules and I want to apply this merging workflow to all those different 
duplicate rules created by Qualify. So if you have less than 10,000 records in your spot portal and by simply creating this one step workflow, you make sure you will never have any more duplicates in your database. It was Greg. I hope this video was clear enough and helped you to solve this big issue that is contact or company duplication in HubSpot. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up to this video and to subscribe to this channel to make sure you don't miss any new videos. As I said in the beginning of the video, Qualify gave me a partner link. So if you want to use Qualify, don't hesitate to use this affiliate link in the description below. I wish you a good week and see you next Wednesday.